how to use a mushroom fruiting block. So if you bought a kit from me at Beehive Mushroom Co, your kit will come with instructions, the block itself, this one's blue oyster, and a spray bottle that we'll use later. So the first thing you wanna do is unpackage everything and then get a clean knife or I'm using a razor blade. Uh, this blade's not very clean, so I'm gonna rub it with some isopropyl alcohol. But if you're using you know, a kitchen knife uh, or something that's been washed with soap and water, that's fine too. So we'll clean your blade, grab your block, and cut a little X right in the middle. Here I'm cutting one that's about, I don't know, an inch and a half. Uh, you don't have to be super gentle, uh, but don't go crazy deep into the actual substrate inside the block. So cut your X. Just, I'm gonna open it here so you can kind of see how big that is. All right, so you cut your X and that's about all the work at this point. Now, uh, just put your block somewhere humid, preferably. Um, I like the kitchen next to the sink because you won't forget about it, uh, or in a bathroom, um, away from the toilet, uh, and get your spray bottle, fill it with water, and then just give it a couple spritzes like that in the morning and in the evening at least. If you can in the middle of the day, that's great too. Uh, and just keep spraying it. After a few weeks, you'll get a beautiful flush of mushrooms like this. These ones still probably have about another day to go. Uh, when the caps start to open up is when oysters are best. And there you go. That's how to use the fruiting blocks. Uh, the instructions included um, are detailed, uh, shows you when to harvest, and has some advice on there. Uh, thanks for buying a fruiting block and good luck in your mycological journey.